Okay, we're good. Hopefully we stay good. Um, for some reason, like, the Xbox no uh, network, it was kind of being a knob. But, uh, well, we'll try and progress. Oh yeah, that's not grim at all. And I have to go back up the fireplace and back all the way up to where Dr. Fred was. Luckily it's a lot easier when I do it this way. So, uh... And pull! Also, it's a good thing that it went off because it gave me a chance to like look at some stuff I was missing for this. Because I did slightly overlook things. Well, oopsie doodles, Bernard. Thing is, it's annoying because I'm so close to finishing the game now. something. Everything okay in there? Well, try and keep it down, okay? That was very weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> weekend at Bernard's. Aha. There is nothing attached to it. Have I got a... Yeah. So I've got to go outside and pull on the rope. And, uh... Nah, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Please tell me it still goes wrong. Yay! <laughs> Oof! Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. Gotta use this. In his mouth. Try that again, gotta use this. There we go. I know, right? So, I'm gonna talk to him? I'm gonna use contract on him. Sign, doctor. Oh no. Sorry, Maybe I, don't. I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? I'm starting up a petition to ban all tentacles. Wow! Where do I sign? Right here. <laughs> well, good luck! Okay. I have to go this way, I have to go to the room where Ed was. <laughs> Dialogue puzzles are hard. Uh, that's the achievement I just got. They would be harder if I weren't cheating, I guess. 
Helm's miffed. No one uses that enough as a as a word to describe someone being angry, which is a shame because it's such a good one. So I've got to use this ink on the stamp album. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh. <gasps> my Pony Express stamp. You'll ruin my Pony Express stamp. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. You should really try to find some outlet for those. Blog. Negative feelings. Right. Got to take these. And I've got to give the contract to Hoagie. Sorry, suffering a bit of lame sale, man, but yeah. So I've got to give the contract to Hoagie. Which is right here. Use the stamp on the contract. Oh, I've got to give the stamp to Hoki as well. Derp. I wrote that down, I just forgot to do it. Okay. Use on that. We go. And then uh, go to the mailbox and use the stamp on that. Not the stamp, the, uh, the contract. I don't wanna. Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Fred's Arts Games. I did well, I love you too. I heard that, you moron! My money! Oh, right now, it's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent! Sorry, that was a lot of lag on my end. Okay, um... Right, so I have to switch to Bernard and go to the office. Uh, use the phone. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a number Swiss out. What's the number, sir? Um... 
It's 846-427-3527. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post light speed delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I'd better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch. Great! Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sledge matic Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. Oh, wait! You can't all go aim stall! You don't know that. Didn't you see the fly? We're... We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's Purple Tentacle! It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? Purple Tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Yikes. That is a lot of you. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chrono Job. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge -o to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run for it. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Shh! 
Maybe he won't find us. You who, where are you, human? Okay, so if I try to leave, he'll shrink me. But I've got to try and find the R door. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh oh. Take that. And this. Drat. If only the hardware store carried larger batteries. Haha. <laughs> We're too little. Hang on, I have to go... Ah! Okay, so I have to go in the wormhole. So I've got to get shrunk and then go to the wormhole. Alright. Aha! Uh-oh! Take... I don't like that to keep running back to the this. fucking middle. But, uh... Drat. Okay, here. Let's go, 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 go. To the hole, to the hole, to the hole. Okay. Uh. Gonna pick up the falling ball. Gonna wait until I'm giant sized again. I've got to use. Where'd he go? Go go to the lab and use this on the tentacles. Now strike we can of turn off the machine and game. prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans amount to very little. <laughs> Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. My other selves are taking over the world as we speak. <laughs> Okay, I have to talk to him. Um, Just so what is this you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together. Glue on your shoes, you'll see what I mean. Okay. Uh, next is... Sounds like that's oh. all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Hmm, I you're right about this. Just a... Your head every time. Would you like a demonstration? Why don't you zap Dr. Fred if you hate him so much? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Sh 
surely. Ha! <laughs> Wait! You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its pimpling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. <laughs> okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Wes, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. Good. It seems you're not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. <laughs> yeah, that is a hell of a plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm smile. glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. And that's people. was the day of the tentacle. I really enjoyed this game. Um, I would say, like, in terms of the tier list of the Tim Schafer while he was still at LucasArts triple, this it goes in order from least favourite to favourite, Full Throttle, this, uh, then Grim Fandango. Grim Fandango is definitely my favourite of the three. Um, things I liked about this game. I like the puzzle-based gameplay. I like that it was kind of simple, but then again, I did cheat and take a lot of notes, so I would have a lot of help with it. Because, um, me dumb, as has been established. Um, I like the character designs, I thought they were really good, the designs of the tentacles were pretty good as well. Despite it being like a sci-fi sort of game and having a time travel element, it didn't really get overly complicated with how bullshit time travel could be, it was just like, you got one person in the past, one in the present, one in the future, trade shit back and forth to help them and help yourself to progress in the game. I liked that. I liked that a lot. Um, I liked the humour. It was probably the game's strongest point. Like, when it landed, it landed super hard. There were some really funny bits of dialogue. I loved how meta I could get it sometimes. And you could tell that there's, that's something that uh, Tim Schafer would work into, like, future games, like, obviously, Psychonauts. Um, presumably Psychonauts 2, whenever I get around to playing that. Uh, oh, the Lotus Eaters. It's rough seeing that name and... I'm not going to go into the reason why. Um, got a good story, so it's simple and straightforward, even with the time travel and current elements, you know. And I'm typically not a big fan of sci-fi, but I don't know, the game managed to make it work somehow. I think the credits are over already. I, I still have more to talk about. Okay, uh...
I, th I think it's just going to stay like this. So, um, yeah, the strong point is obviously the story was pretty good, the plot was quite good. And I liked how certain puzzles tied into future ones as well. And there was always like little easter eggs and hints of what you could do. And obviously I wouldn't have picked up on those sooner, like with the statue thing that I didn't notice until just before I'd switched to Hoagie and made the statue chiseling dude switch hammers. And then that statue sort of like switched positions. I did like that. Um, I like that there was sort of like the cat thing with the one in the future having to need a white stripe on it, but then like the one in where Hoagie was. So, um, him needed to distract the cat, to distract the cat with the mattress so that he could steal a mouse. However, even as, as good as the characters were, the weakest part of this game for me was the voice acting. No one really sounded into what they were doing. Like, the villains were okay, Dr. Fred probably gives the best performance, but the main three do not sound interested at all, especially Laverne's voice actress. She just does not sound... Like, she doesn't sound excited about it at all, you know? And there's also, like, Ed's actor as well. Like, when he got really mad at Bernard and threw him out of the room and threw the stamps on him, he was steaming it, and you could tell he was trying to shout, but he was speaking in a relatively calm level voice. And again, it was probably different for the time, but, like, this is a remastered version from 2020. So you would think that they would, like, change that in somehow. But those are, like, minor nitpicks, everything else about the thing is great, I like the story, the characters, the humour is really good, uh, the character designs, uh, I like the art style too, even if the lip syncing didn't always match up, it was still pretty good. And yeah, it's full of like nice little easter eggs, so I can't really think of much else to say, I'm gonna have to give a great, pr uh, a great a score, probably an 8 out of 10. I don't think it's quite 8.5, but like its strong points are pretty damn strong, and I can see where this is a game who uh, which has gotten as much praise as it has. So, yeah, that's all I have really for this. The next Let's Play I'll see you for will, will be Sunset Overdrive, which I would be doing tomorrow, uh, Saturday, May the 7th, but I want to take more time to edit this one together before I start the Sunset Overdrive stream. So, uh, yeah, going to do that. But I'll see you all for that one. As always, thank you for watching. You're awesome. Have a good day.